Okay guys, what we're going to do today is add more games to the PS Classic Mini. Now, I've been doing some videos and it's long and complicated, but there's this new tool that's just come out and we're going to have a look at it. So, how do we do this? Got the Bleem Zinc there. We go to my computer. Now what we need to do is format the memory card, so my one's J, format, uh, just do allocation default application size, name it Sony, quick format it, now I've got nothing on that card. Unzip the latest Bleem Zinc. Take a few seconds. You'll see what we have that data. Open your memory card. Put all of this data this time onto your memory card. This might take a few seconds. Okay, now that's done. Um, as before, we've got Bleem Zinc, LOL hack, but we've got this systems folder now with Bleem Zinc and stuff in there. Um, the games are as normal. Game data. But this time you can delete all of these ones and the game INI. Delete all of these. Just leaving that PCSX config in the folder. This time get your game, we're going to use for Death Trap, Death Trap Dungeon game. You can never say that. Put that back on your card. Okay, now that's done. Um, go back up. Back up. Um, if you want to add another game, let's do Game Data 2. Um, actually... We want a couple more games on this one, so let's just copy that one and paste and paste and paste and paste and, paste and then rename these ones to three. Four, five, and six. Number two, <coughs> game data. Again, delete all of these except for that PC SX config. Delete. Okay, now that's done, um, we'll just get some other bits and pieces sort of stored out here. We get Dunk Stalkers, um, what else do we want? We'll have LSD Dream. wonder if that's actually going to work. R type delta Silent Hill and a bit of thrill kill. Okay, now all those are done. So in the first game we've got the Death Trap Dungeon and if you notice we not named it now these ones I'm just going with the game data I'm just going to go for what we've got here just put the game actually in there notice how we're not bothering to get the covers this time around um, 
these got to be in Q and bin formats, obviously, like we said before. And this might take some time. Okay, um, now, sorry about that, that was on fast forward, so now we've got all the games back into the folder, so we've got Thrill Kill, Silent Hill, right up. now have you, have you noticed what, I've got no game I and I, and we've got no picture, so how are we going to do this today? What you need to do then is go to BleemSync and run BleemSync from the computer but in the little USB drive what we created it's called Sony. Uh, it will come up here saying it's trying to connect so let it connect. Allow. It might have to go through your virus stuff so let it through. What it does then is it searches around on the internet and it finds all the covers. Now when you go back into games, we've got game data, we saw, um, we actually ripped this one the other day, and we've got a picture, yes, how quick was that? Game Jackie Chan, um, Very nice, very nice. Jackie Chan, this stunt master. And um, what's two? Dark Stalker three. So what it does, it goes on the internet and it scrapes around for the actual game data. Don't know where it actually goes to get this stuff, but it's all good. So now it's made it so much quicker and so much easier to get new games onto your PlayStation Mini. Just like a proof what it does work. Now, I'm not going around with my mates to test this for a while, so I'll put a proof of concept on there after I have tested it, because I haven't actually got a PlayStation Mini. I don't know if I'm going to get one. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, so Thrill Kill, it's not found. Um, I didn't think it would. So, in this case, what you need to do is go to another folder, say number 5, get the game I and I, just copy it, go to number 6, gain data, paste it in there. Thrill kill. I'm not too sure who actually made it. Unknown. And this. Actually, name it from the title so you've actually got it exactly right. Uh, yep, we've got that done. Save that one. And um, somewhere along the lines, we've got this. Again, open with paint. If you're not too sure how to do this, um, see my other videos. Save as. Save as PNG picture. That would be the PNG picture. Rename it 
to exactly the same name and that one should be done as well but I say we need to test that one out so now you've got all the six games on there and they should be ready to play in your PlayStation Classic and it was that simple and that quick okay guys thanks for watching this and I'll see you all again on the next video bye for now hope this one helps out